she just won't stay put. Okay, whatever. Okay, you're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So a little side note before we get into the cute stuff, um, you guys already know this. If you are a part of Earth, um, we are in a pandemic right now and it's really, really sad. Um, I mean, Vegas has been hit really hard, I believe. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. It's crazy. Like, the times have been tough for everyone and right now my job is to just entertain and create distraction for you guys and I hope um, you guys are pretty distracted. I'm doing my best to stay inside and to practice social distancing. It's kind of impossible though because I do have to shop for food. I am one of those people who are not able to bulk buy food um, or toilet paper. Well. If you guys are Filipino, you know, we don't really need toilet paper, you know what I mean? Like, if you know, you know. Toilet paper is secondary to our practice. We have a more hygienic way of... I'm struggling um, in terms of like, just being at home. Like, you know, I'm doing the same thing where I'm trying to be distracted. Um, on YouTube, I keep refreshing to see if like, my favorite YouTubers have uploaded. I'm like, did Delightful upload her new dragon video? Did Moonlight Jewel upload a new podcast? You know what I mean? So, um, these times are just really, really tough and kind of sad. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you are staying safe, sane, and healthy in these crazy times. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's get into it. Just so you guys know, this is intentional, which I feel like will annoy a lot of people, but I like it. It's bouncy. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like the title. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna title this, but should I say adopted? That's a little click baby. So you guys, I adopt, I adopted two bunnies. Yes. Lorelai from Len and the Bunny. These ones are going to be free roamed. Um, I swear. Um, but they're so, so cute, you guys. Oh my God. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. Wait. Wait, oh my god. Okay. You guys. Oh, look! Um, there, uh, yeah, there we go. So, so cute. <laughs> They're fake, but um, I love bunnies. I do want a bunny in the future, but now is, now is just not the right time. Uh, I'm still doing a lot of research and I do follow um, Lorelai from Lennon the Bunny here on YouTube. She talks about a lot of like free roaming um, techniques for your bunny because you can free roam them in your house. They can be potty trained. So if I do get a rabbit, a real one um, in the future, they're going to be free roaming. But for now, I have these two I got. Um, I got them like actually like a month ago from the dollar store. Like, not the, do the Dollar Tree or anything, like the 99 cent store, um, which is crazy because these were $3. Yeah, kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that is the brand. They're so cute. I mean, for $3, they're so, so detailed. See, look. Oh. <gasps> it's painted really well. This one's the second one. This one's looking up a little more, like the head is tilted up. Look at that! Hello! So, so cute! Look at, look at the bunny tail! So the reason why they're here and they're queer is because I will be repainting them. Um, yes! Yes, yes, yes! 
Um, I will. I kind of am inspired by Sailor Moon, like Luna and Artemis. So one of them for sure is gonna be white. I'm not sure if I'll do the other one black. I'm still kind of debating on it. I want to name them. So if you guys have names down below, please comment them. Um, so something cute, something fun, and then um, I'll probably do re name reveals on Instagram. What the fuck is happening? What is happening? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I'm so excited. Uh, let's get on with the repaint. They deserve a new coat. They need their um, House of Hex coat. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm excited. So we will be working one by one with these bunnies. So let's first start with this one. Um, this is the one where the pose is a little closer to the ground. Um, and I think we're going to do this um, white. So this is the Artemis inspired one. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to painting. I am just using a regular acrylic paint for this one. Um, this was, I believe, matte white. You can definitely make it satin if you want. You can make it glossy if you want. It's really up to you. Personal preferences, you guys. Um, so yeah, I think I had to give this maybe three coats of white. I had to water it down a little bit so it really gets to the crooks and crannies of all of the fur. Just because all of the fur detail is really, really deep in there. And um, yeah. So I know I keep mentioning Luna and Artemis from Sailor Moon, but it's it's just roughly inspired. It's loosely inspired. Um, I'm definitely giving them both red eyes. I love New Zealand hops. Um, when I adopt, they're definitely a number one in my list, just because they need homes the most. Lorelai from Lennon the Bunny here on YouTube has mentioned that New Zealand hops are often skipped on um, when it comes to adoption, um, so they're kind of put down more um, just because they have red eyes so people are kind of scared of them um, it's kind of like when people have like black cats and black dogs like they're scared that it's like evil um, but no it, they're just different and in this case the red eyes is just unique and often she said that New Zealand hops are the most like column of the bunny breeds so that's also a really cool thing um, so if you guys are adopting take that in consideration So over here, I definitely sprayed the entire bunny with Mr. Super Player before um, putting the pastels. As you can see, I am giving the bunny ears some pinkness and translucent effect for its ears because it will show up some veins um, and all that. So that's just kind of like added detail if you're trying to go for a semi-realistic. I don't even want to say realistic. I don't want people to come for me. Um, but semi-realistic, fantasy-esque type of bunny. So, yeah. So, of course, I had to look up references for this one. Um, real bunnies, of course. Just so I know where to, like, blush. Um, areas here and there. Um, also, um, Luna and Artemis, <laughs> loosely. Um, but yeah, it was really, really fun doing this project. It was really calming. I really, really love painting. Um, of, co of course, I had to give it my own take, a little hextraness here and there, and you guys will see that. But also, I wanted to say, now is the time to pick up that pencil, pick up that paint, pick up a doll, pick up something to repaint and give it a new life. In this case, these dollar store bunnies needed a new life. So why not, right? So now's the time, you guys. No excuses. Then, of course, I am taking my watercolor pencils and we are giving some details to the eyes with some pupils and the iris and all that jazz. Um, just so you guys know, the methods are all the same when I do my dolls. You know, layering is key. So definitely spray this, maybe, I think this overall doll, um, bunny, oh my gosh. I think the overall bunny was probably like only five layers. It wasn't that bad because obviously I'm pasteling the body. 
um, just giving it some shadows artificially here and there and then I had to layer the details for the iris of the eyes and that's why I had to kind of keep layering those Mr. Super Clear so but you know not as bad as like my usual dolls I think the rabbit was getting a little peckish, so I'm giving it some pellets. Come on, here we go. Oh no? Oh, I want some vegetables, you guys. I'll take it though. That was fiber one. Really, really good. <laughs> and now taking my Durant watercolor pencil again, um, we are gonna draw the veins for the ears. And this one, you can kind of play around with it. You can have fun. Um, I went with red and also a hint of orange here and there, just to have um, more of a variation. And then I'm taking my brush to kind of blur it out and diffuse all of the veins because obviously the veins are inside the ears. So you kind of want to blur it out um, to give the effect that it is inside the skin. And then we pretty much just do the same exact thing, just kind of like a normal face up for a doll. You keep coming back and forth to the same exact details to really enhance those colors, enhance those features, make lines a little more sharper, um, you know, make the blacks more darker, and so on and so forth. And then I am just taking my Liquitex Professional Gloss Varnish and we're going to gloss up the eyes. This is like a really satisfying part. I'm also glossing up the waterline. While we wait for that to dry, let's go ahead and work on the other rabbit. Um, so I thought I would want to actually paint them both white, but then I had a sudden change. You guys know I was gonna do black, but then I was like, maybe I should do white. And then I was like, you know what? We're gonna do gray. <laughs> and we're pretty much doing the same exact technique for the gray rabbit. It's no different. There are some minor difference here and there, but overall it's the same. And for this one to get an even coat, I believe I did two layers of gray. So it wasn't too bad. And now let's add some details. Before I continue on, I actually want to go ahead and sculpt the crescent moon for the forehead. So I'm taking my epoxy sculpt over here. You guys already know. Um, just blending it together, equal parts. And then I am protecting the bunny with some saran wrap just plastic and I'm gonna mold the crescent moon on top of it. Now the crescent moon I wanted, I want it to be kind of angled image of a crescent moon and that was kind of like the look I was trying to go for. And yes, as you can see, it's gonna be upside down. Um, you know, they're literally not Artemis and Luna and I don't really want them to be in the good side. I want them to be with the Spectre Sisters from the Black Moon Clan. So all of the moons, all of the crescent moons are gonna be upside down. Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> and here I'm just painting the inside of the ears, kind of like a peachy tone. Um, just so that the pastels would actually show up. Um, and usually rabbits, even if they are gray or even if they're black, the inside of their ears would be kind of like, um, like translucent. So you'll still see the veins and stuff. Now, if you guys have any familiars that are rabbit, actually any, any familiars, cat, dog, a parrot, a gerbil, a hamster, a ferret, 
Um, what is something that they do that's kind of quirky to their own? They're probably living their lives right now because their humans are staying home all day, all week. Um, or maybe that's just a dog thing. I know dogs are living, that their humans are home. Cats may disagree. There's so many memes with their cats, like, wondering why their humans are still at home. They're kind of like, don't you have somewhere to be human? Um, so yeah, if you guys have any familiars that are cute, um, and you have a story, go and share down below. We want to- I want to read them. <laughs> now for this one, I'm just kind of blushing it up um, with some blacks and darker gray. Um, just to add some artificial dimension here. I mean, the rabbit already has great sculpt and details. But you know, just so the colors don't look flat. And for the nose, I decided for kind of like a softer pink just to kind of lighten it up. And here we go again for the veins and this one was this part was so like one of my favorite parts when I was redoing this for some reason I don't know I thought it was just really cool because um, it was like a freehand experience um, and you can't really mess it up and that's kind of like why it's fun. So because I don't have the correct um, pencil for this, like a correct dark red for this, um, and we want to achieve the ruby eye effect for the rabbit, I'm starting with this red and then I layer a black pencil on top of that red. Um, and then I'm gonna sandwich that black pencil with the same exact red. And then, you know, we are going to build the layers with Mr. Super Clear on and on and on until the black, because you know, as you can see, it's so dark right now, until that black kind of fades in and blends in with the iris. So that's kind of like the look. I mean, obviously, there's no right or wrong with anything with art, um, unless maybe it's a realism. But we're not. This is fantasy. But for me, I really wanted a subtle pupil and I just wanted like, oh, there's a pupil there, but it's also very red. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I still thought that the overall coat of the bunny was still kind of flat. So I went ahead with a really, really watered down um, acrylic paint in black. So this one is literally like 75% water and then 25% paint. Um, just to create more shadows, just so that the, you know, the paint will seep in inside the fur. Um, yeah, it just creates more dimension. And then let's make the eyes come alive again with some Liquitex Gloss. Now let's go back to our moon that we were waiting to dry. This took a day. Um, so now we can go ahead and sand it, make it smooth. And first you want to make it kind of rough so it evens everything out. So this one is like a 60 slash 80 grit sandpaper. And then after everything is completely done, we can go ahead and smooth it with a 2000 grit sandpaper. So the ending result should be very, very smooth, you know, smooth as possible. Um, and we obviously want to duplicate this. We have two rabbits. So I am taking my easy mold silicone putty. Um, you just mix two equal parts of this one. And um, yeah, we just make a mold out of this. I'm just setting it down on a wax paper and then I'm gonna go ahead and press this um, putty over here. Um, it does set in like 30 minutes so you have to kind of work fast. And there you have it. 
Obviously, there's some movie magic here and there, but there we have it. We have our mold. And then I'm taking my epoxy sculpt again. You know, mix it up, same as always. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press it down onto our mold. And you kind of want to clean this up as much as possible in terms of the edges and excess so that it's easier to kind of work with after it's completely dried. And now we should have two crescent moons ready for painting. And because they are from the darker side of things, they're part of the Black Moon Clan, I'm gonna go for silver for this one because Luna and Artemis have gold, so let's turn it up. And I'm more... I like silver more. <laughs> So let's wait for that to dry and let's move back to the eyes. And here we have um, two pairs of human fake lashes. I know what you're thinking. I, I was just joking. I was like, maybe I should give them lashes. So I was like, maybe I should try it out. And literally I was testing it out as a joke. But then I kind of liked it and I was like, oh my god, this is everything. And honestly, it's just so me. So why not? But I was hysterical laughing. I mean, it does remind me of like Disney bunnies, like from freaking um, Snow White and Bambi. Like they had eyelashes, so why not? <laughs> and now let's put on their crescent moon over here. And I just glued them with a hot glue gun. <laughs> 